Well hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, thank you for clicking on another video. In today's video I invite you to grab a cuppa because it's just going to be a little catch up, I feel like we haven't done one of these in ages. I've had this channel for four years now if you can believe it and when I first started this channel I posted what I wanted like Okay, that door's gonna annoy me, one sec. When I first started this channel, I basically posted what I wanted. It was pretty much the Sarah show. Um, and recently I've kind of focused on workouts and stuff. And while that's great, I wanna do what I want. So <laughs> there's gonna be a lot more of like vlogs and like lifestyle, um, still focusing on the health and fitness aspect of my life, but you know, kind of centering more on my life um because there's a lot going on and i feel like i need to update you because it's going to be evident on the channel probably maybe kind of first update would be that i relaxed my hair for those of you who know about relaxers i relaxed my hair for the first time in like 12 years and that's a pretty big deal it's when you permanently chemically straighten your hair pretty big deal no regrets so far but it is literally about four hours um after i've relaxed my hair so the other update is that I'm moving. So I live in Cardiff at the moment in Wales. Um, I'm from Wales, for those of you who don't know, I grew up in the valleys. Um, and I always sound really valleys when I say the valleys. I don't think there's any other way to say it. But yeah, I grew up in the valleys. I was actually, okay, I was born in Surrey, moved to the valleys when I was three. So it's all of my kind of like formative years. And all I can remember is basically living in South Wales. My parents are from Nigeria. Um, but Wales is basically home to me, South Wales specifically. I did go to university in Birmingham, that's where I started this channel, and um, so I was there for five years, but then as soon as I graduated I moved back to South Wales to work in Cardiff, and I have been working in Cardiff as a doctor now for four years, and that has gone really quickly. So I graduated in 2017, it is now 2021, time flies. Um, and there is so much to say about that as well. I actually did my foundation year one and then I withdrew from my foundation year two job and I locumed for three years and now the reason I'm leaving Cardiff is because I've got a job to do foundation year two so finally doing F2 even though I graduated four years ago I've already actually got the competencies that you need from FY2 um, but that's a whole nother story if you're interested in the technical details of my career then let me know and I can do a video all about F1, F2, locuming, what I'm doing with my career. Um, yeah, I feel like that would be a really interesting video and maybe really helpful actually, because there's not many people who do that. Um, I like to be special. There aren't many people who do that, but I've done it. And so I feel like I've learned a lot over the last few years, locuming post F1. There are lots of people who told me I couldn't do it. Yes, I could, praise the Lord, and I did. And it was wonderful, I have no regrets. So yeah, definitely let me know if you want a video on that because there's so much more information around that topic. <laughs> Um, the process of applying for a job, again, that's a whole other video in itself, but it's basically meant that I've ended up getting a job in Essex. So all the way across the other side of Britain, of the UK, I was going to say the country, but it's a different country. Um, so I'll be moving to England. I will be moving to London, though, and commuting out for my job. So it's like quite a long commute. Um, the main reason for this is because my sister and brother-in-law are absolute babes and they've got a spare room um, but also it's really hard to find a room or find a new place during lockdown so I would book a day off work go down to Essex I say I would I did this once and I gave up after day one I was like this isn't working went all the way down to Essex viewed loads of different like um spare rooms on spare room because that's what I tend I have used in the past and I thought maybe it would be nice to like meet people and um, so I could live with people but I didn't really love any of the places that I viewed um, and so then I was like okay I'll just get my own flat and I'll just live by myself um, but for whatever reason all of the flats in Essex are unfurnished I don't know who decided that but like it is very rare to find a furnished flat which I find really weird because if you're doing a 12 month contract who wants to buy a bed and a sofa for a 12, 12 month let? Um, but yeah, everything was just really hard to book viewings. Um, it was really hard to get anyone to get back to me actually. Like so many estate agents just didn't get back to me. I stopped looking for a place in Essex about a month ago when I decided I would just live with my sister and my brother-in-law um, until I kind of find my own place or even stay there depending on their plans. Um, when I stopped, so I stopped looking for a place about a month ago, and then yesterday, or not yesterday, a few days ago at work, someone called me, I was like, hi, and they're like, hi, this is a certain estate agent about a property I had inquired about, and I was like, 
I haven't inquired about any properties for like a month. This is really late getting back to me and they're like, yeah, sorry, we've been busy. Um, and fair enough, they've been busy, but oh my gosh, it was so, so stressful. If I tried to book to view a property weeks in advance, they would say, no, sorry, that property will be gone by then. So don't bother. And so I'd be like, okay, um, shall I call on the week? They'd say, yeah, when I call in the week, they don't get back to me about when the tenants can do viewings because of all like the COVID rules. Oh, I know it's just so much stress and I realized that actually for me personally I've been saying I want to move to London for so long for like the longest time and I've just never really done it like my friends will know you guys probably know that I've just yeah I've been saying I would all my siblings lived there and so I just had this feeling at the back of my mind that I would always kind of end up there um but I never did because I love Cardiff and I still do I love Cardiff like I genuinely don't want to leave Cardiff but I do want to go to London if that makes sense. So yeah I'm moving to London I'm really excited about it I have been looking at gyms <laughs> that's so funny the first thing I did once I decided was I was like what gym am I gonna go to um, and I've been booking loads of like tours and viewings of all these different gyms because they're all kind of pricey um, but I'm so so excited to be like to have the option of so many different um, facilities so I can still do my athletics training and still do my gym work so yeah that's a staple for me. I kind of decided last year for reasons that I'll go into in another video that I quite like the idea of having um, my postcode be a little bit more distant from my place of work and especially in the hospital um I had some health issues uh, last year which I'm not going to go into in this video I'll do another video on it because I've gone back and forth about whether or not I'll do a video on it because it was pretty um scary um <laughs> But I think I will because I think it will be helpful to people and um, that's why I started this channel. So yeah, that video is to come. Um, but basically after going through all of that, I, I just kind of, <laughs> there were benefits in, in living where I would present or, you know, show up in A&E. But I think there were also disadvantages which would make me less likely to show up in a &E because I would know that I'd be showing up to my colleagues. I don't know if that makes sense. So I say what to say, I, I don't mind living far away from where I work. I actually think I prefer that. And there are loads of doctors who have said that to me in the past and I kind of just didn't really bother or think of it because I didn't have any health issues. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but I think now, yeah, I think um, working elsewhere than where I live will be good. So that's exciting. If there are any gyms or things that you think I should try out in London, please let me know in the comments. I need to make like an itinerary of things to do. Although not too many things because I'm starting off on A&E. My first day is actually gonna be on nights. I'll be doing weekend nights for my first day of a new job in a new hospital in a new country and it's gonna be wonderful. So yeah, it's gonna be intense, but also I do feel very ready. Obviously I've been a locum SHO for the last three years. So I'm quite excited actually to do F2 and to like do the different rotations. I'm so, so grateful to God I got the rotations that I wanted, which is uh, A&E, GP and paediatrics. I literally got the exact rotations that I wanted. And the reason I wanted this, again, I'll go into this in a different video all about my career, um, is because I actually wanted to do those specialties, specifically GP and A&E, in order to know what I want to specialize in. Um, because while I loved them as a student, I think it's very different than actually meeting consultants and GPs who already do the job, being able to kind of walk in their shoes a step behind, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think that it will be great for that. So that's that side of things. I'm going back into full-time work, so I'm no longer a locum. I'll be doubling my hours and basically halving my pay, which is another topic for another day. Um, I'll be moving to London. So at the moment, I'm trying to sell all my stuff because I don't like the fact that I can't just fit into a room. I just have too much stuff, like a mirror, a chair, a TV, a TV stand, um, a dressing table, all these random items that I don't need right now. I really feel like I would just rather sell all the stuff that I have and then start over when I buy a house or move into somewhere more permanent. Um, so that's basically what I've been doing. I was supposed to have started packing today. So I've booked a van, you guys. I'm driving a van down to England. Can you imagine? I've booked a van for Thursday morning. It is Monday night and I've literally not packed a single thing. So tomorrow morning, I need to go and pick up or collect this order of like boxes and tape and bubble wrap and stuff. And um, I've got the week off work before I move. Um, so I'm just gonna pack 
everything. And I'll also pack boxes of everything that I want to give away and the stuff that I want to sell. So yeah, it's a busy few days. Um, what else is new? I feel like that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, to be honest. <laughs> I was like, there's so much to update you on and it's literally just that I'm moving. Um, there's a lot of like other stuff, like little things going on in my life, but I feel like they need their own videos. So that's the main update is that I'm moving and I'm going back into training, work as a doctor, which I'm really excited for actually. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited and I'm so, so grateful. I got my rota for my job. I've just tried to book my annual leave if that goes through. Actually, I love this rota. I know that people normally hate a &E rotas, but this one you do like 12 hour shifts. So it's more like a nurse's rota in terms of you have like more days off. And I would rather that. For me, when I go to work nine to five, seven till three, that's the day gone. For me, I tend to just eat, sleep after that anyway. I don't know why it's almost like I can only do one thing in one day. And then um, after I've done that one thing, I find it hard sometimes to pick up and focus on anything else. So I would rather have just one long shift at work get it done rather have that time to focus and then have three days off instead of two days off or whatever um so yeah the rotor isn't horrendous which i'm really pleased about yeah i feel like that's basically it other, other than that i've just been really like getting into like looking after myself a lot like my skincare routine i feel like i finally settled on a good skincare routine even though i know my skin probably looks a mess right now um i went through such bad acne if you want me to do a video about my skin i can do that but i had such bad acne when using different retinol products and like beyond the like purging phase like just prolonged acne the worst skin i've ever had in my life and it was so annoying so I was like I liked my skin before I genuinely was happy I was only doing this because people were saying okay you know I'm 27 now I should start doing all these anti-aging anti whatever whatever regimes which I personally love I really enjoy that kind of stuff but I was just like how is my skin gonna go from being never bothering me to being like the biggest bother ever it's still not perfect I've still got like scars and everything from it um but it's getting there it's like settling um, yeah, and I've been looking after my hair, um, changing things up a little bit. Obviously, I'm no longer blonde, so that's a lot easier. Um, and just basically really looking after myself and pampering myself quite a lot, like genuinely just really enjoying being a beautiful, young, single, free woman. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but yeah, just like keeping my nails looking tidy, getting pedicures and manicures, doing face masks, taking myself on dates, which I have done for a long time, but I tend to forget sometimes. But then when I remember, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this. There's something so fun about asking yourself, what do you want to do? And then doing it. Like the other day, I, well, I, I say the other day, I've been on so many beach trips because the weather has been beautiful. Oh, and I bought a new car. That's another update. I bought like, <laughs> I bought a, an old convertible Audi, so it is old, but it is lush and I love it. Um, so I've just been making the most of the sunny weather, just going on random drives with the with the top down. Um, a lot of beach trips, that's really fun. And yeah, there's something about like walking into a restaurant and just being like, hi, table for one. And then like you just whip out your book and you order whatever you want to eat and you people watch and I just love it. And I feel like I've been doing a lot of that recently, especially as I'm about to move and about to like take on a new, more intense job. I'm like, okay, take this time to look after yourself. Um, and just like treat yourself and it's been great I've I've really enjoyed like life opening up again and things starting up again I think that I was really like I was really cautious about everything opening up again and I've definitely not gone back to my old schedule like I have not been seeing that many people I've not been doing that much and I kind of love it I love having time to myself like people will ask me like when someone asks me if I'm free now I don't just say the day that I have no activities with other people. I look for the day where I also don't have any activities planned with myself. When I say activities with myself, I also mean just a night where I sit and do nothing and <laughs> like watch Netflix or sleep or do whatever I want to do spontaneously. And I really like that. I have no plans to overwhelm my schedule again. That is not for me. I like getting my sleep in. And I'm saying all of this when I'm literally about to start a job 
that's going to be intense so who knows maybe I will overwhelm my schedule again um but yeah I've been really enjoying like looking after myself and just like I don't know I've been watching lots of like femininity videos on YouTube and I just love them they're so much fun and I feel like it's resulted in me like I'm wearing a dress right now I've got my microphone by there but I'm wearing a dress and I feel like I just wear dresses a lot now all the time <laughs> and I don't really know why um I just prefer them and I love them and I have a really good collection now of summer dresses so if you want to see those let me know as summer comes to an end um but yeah I'm gonna stop talking now otherwise this is gonna be a really long video and I'm just not gonna edit it because I'll be like I don't want to edit it and then I just won't and then my good intentions will be gone so I'm gonna stop talking um there's so much to catch up on and I've been vlogging bits of everything that's going on and I'm really excited for you guys to see that um yeah I'll, I'll just be sharing more of my life now because I really enjoy watching <laughs> I really enjoy watching other people's lives but genuinely I really enjoy watching other people's lives don't mean to sound creepy I really enjoy watching vlogs I find them so soothing and peaceful and um, so I was like yeah I should do some of my own I literally have a Sula it's just so warm in here and I've got like the ring light and I'm really excited to not have these blue curtains mess up my filming setup that'll that'll be nice if you want to see more videos about me and my life and what I'm up to and literally like anything let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can film it then yeah just let me know I'm really excited and um, the channel will feel a little bit different maybe just a little bit um workout wise there are so many workouts on my channel and I cannot recommend my program healthy at home enough so if you ever miss the workouts just sign up for healthy at home um it's amazing I'm so pleased with all the feedback I've gotten for it so far. I'm so, so glad. Um, so yeah, if there are a few less workouts on here, don't worry, I'm still working out. But I will probably be doing more vlog style stuff from now on. Oh, I said I'd stop talking like 10 minutes ago and then I carried on talking. Okay, I'm going to stop. Love you so much. Please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me. And um, please subscribe. Um, join me on Instagram. Uh, love you so much. Bye.